Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about enumerating DNS records using DNS Recon. DNS Reconnaissance is part of the information gathering stage of a penetration test engagement. DNS Reconnaissance is used to obtain as much information as possible about the target's network by scanning their DNS servers for DNS records. For this lab environment, I'll be using one installation of VirtualBox, the latest version with the extension pack, one virtual install of Kali Linux, and the Kali network adapter set to NAT network. So let's go ahead and take a look at our virtual adapter and ensure that it is set correctly. So I'm up in Devices, I went to Network, I'm up inside of Network Settings, and you'll see that my network adapter is set to NAT network. As always, I like to create a working directory so that I can have everything located in one location. To do this, I just right clicked on my desktop. From the context menu, I select Create Folder, and I name that folder DNS Recon. Here you can see the DNS Recon folder. Now the next thing we have to do is download a word list from the internet that we do not currently have up inside of our word list directory. So to do this, I'm going to go up here to my application launcher and I'm going to find my browser and I'm going to launch. To get a hold of this word list, I'm going to go out to GitHub and here's the URL that I used. We'll need to download the entire directory that it contains a large number of different word lists. But to do this, we're just going to go over here where it says code. I'm going to pull down that window. And from its context menu, I'm going to select Download Zip. I'm now going to say Save the File. Once I have downloaded the file, I'm going to go over here to the Download location up inside of my browser, pull this down, and you're going to see that the word list is here. I'm going to open up this folder. I'm now going to right click on the word list zip file that I just downloaded and I'm going to select copy from the context menu. Go ahead and close out that download directory. Go ahead and close out your browser. Now you can open up your DNS recon working directory and in the right window pane you're just going to right click and you're going to select paste. Now that you have that zip file inside of your working directory just right click on it and select from the context menu extract here. Once you have the contents of that zip folder extracted, find the extracted folder called wordlist-master. Go ahead and open it up and you're going to scroll on down until you find the DNS map.txt file. Go ahead and right click on that and select copy. You can close out your working directory. From the desktop, go ahead and click on your file system. Scroll on down until you come to the USR folder. Inside of the USR folder, click on the Share folder. Scroll on down until you come to Word List. Once you're inside of the Word List directory, just right click anywhere inside of the right window pane and from the context menu, you're going to select Paste. Close out the Word List directory and return to your desktop. And when you're on the desktop, just find your DNS Recon directory, right click on it, and from the context menu, you're going to select Open Terminal here. To launch DNS Recon at the prompt, just type in DNS Recon all lowercase, and now to look at the help menu, just give it a space, a dash dash, and the letter H, and hit enter. And here we see all the different command options that are available for us up inside of DNS Recon. So to check the cyberoffense.com domain to see if the DNS records can be enumerated, I've typed in a dash D after the DNS Recon command. Follow that up with the name of the domain, give it another space. Now the dash dash CSV is the file type that I'm going to save that information to. I follow that up with a space and a tilly, a forward slash, and this is going to be the path of where I want this file saved to. So I want the file saved to my DNS recon folder up on my desktop, and I want it saved as cyber.csv. Let's go ahead and 
hit enter. So as you can see by the output, we are performing a general enumeration of the domain cyberoffense.com. And DNSSEC or DNS security is not configured for this domain. And the last thing that it tells us is that it saved the records that it enumerated from the DNS server to a CSV file located up inside of my DNS recon working directory called cyber.csv. And so if I do an ls, since we're up inside of that working directory, you can see that there is a file called cyber.csv. Now I can also cat out the results of that particular file so that we can see the contents. And here you can see the DNS records we just pulled down by enumerating the DNS server for cyberoffense.com. You can save the records that you have enumerated in a number of different formats to include XML, text file, you can save them as a database. There are a number of different ways that you can save this information using DNS Recon. Let's go ahead and clear my screen. So using the word list that we downloaded from GitHub, we're now going to perform a brute force attack on that DNS server. And we're going to look for all the different types of DNS records that the word list can associate with up on that DNS server. So at my prompt, I've typed in DNS recon space dash. This time we got a capital letter D. Give it a space for slash. This is the location where that DNS map dot text word list is located. Give it a space, a dash T, which stands for type, followed by BRT, which stands for brute force attack. Space dash small letter D, followed by the name of the domain. Again, we give it a space and we're going to save the results of this to my working directory DNS recon. So the problem with this attack is that it's going to take at least 10 minutes for that word list to be gotten through and all of the DNS records that are associated with the words in the word list have been identified and those records have been pulled down. So do be patient when performing a brute force attack using DNS recon. The following command allows us to conduct a who is search for any DNS records of IP addresses that are currently available for this domain. So we're going to look at nmap.org and that's the dash D. Give that a space, the dash W. That is telling this command that it's going to use who is to conduct a reverse lookup, followed by a space and of course again that dash dash the name of the file type we want the record saved to and again followed by the location of our working directory and the name of the file so let's go ahead and run this command see what we get and we can see the results from using this command as well we performed a general enumeration of the domain and map.org and it says that it is resolving to 45.33.49.119 and it says all queries will resolve to this address and then it starts performing the who is lookup against the records that it did find and it says the following IP ranges were found and then it tells you the IP addresses and their ranges that it can look at but you have to tell it what range you want to look for reverse lookup now these are numbered over here, 0 to 3. Just go ahead and type in whatever you want. I went ahead and put in none so that I can move on before I run out of time here. And again, you can see that it's saving the CSV file to our working directory. This next command is going to allow us to decipher the company's network. Performing a working zone transfer is a great way to discover the organizational's network. So at the prompt, I've typed in DNS recon space dash small letter D followed by the name of the domain. Give it a space dash A, which stands for working zone transfer. Give it a space, again, followed by the file type. Give it a space and the path 
to our working directory and the name of the file. Go ahead and hit enter. Most zone transfers are not going to work because of the security settings that are in place on most DNS servers today. But you can pull down some information. We don't get a lot of information from this, but you can see that it was worth a shot. This next command is going to allow us to attempt to do a DNSSEC zone walk. And what this means is, is if the server has DNS security or DNSSEC enabled, and depending on what type of next security record it has in use, we can still pull down a lot of information off of that record because of that particular version of what's called NSEC. So we've gone ahead and we've inputted the following command, DNS recon space, again, dash D followed by the name of the domain, dash Z stands for zone walk, followed by the file type and again the directory location that we're going to save the results to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and this time you're going to see that we're going to get a message saying that DNSSEC is configured for this particular DNS server and we pull up the hash for the keys that DNSSEC is actually using and we also see that it's using NSEC which stands for the next security record but it is a older version and it has issues with actually being flawed so it's allowing us to actually go ahead and pull down information even though the server is configured for a DNSSEC for some people this doesn't matter if you don't care if people walk your DNS zone then they're going to use NSEC because it's just a simpler way of configuring the security on a DNS server. NSEC version 3 is a little harder to configure and if you don't want people to be able to walk your zone then that's the version of the next security file that you want to enable. So in this short lab you learned that the amount of information that can be discovered during a DNS reconnaissance is quite large. Misconfiguration of a target's DNS server helps to map the entire network. You got questions? You got concerns? Please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.